In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing and evaluating a function modeling continuous exponential growth or decay given doubling time or half-life. In the example here, we can see that we have a radioactive substance and we're given its initial mass and we're told again that it's continuous exponential decay and also that the half-life is 22 hours. So we'll start with our continuous growth and decay formula, which says that the amount of a substance will be equal to its initial amount times E raised to the RT, where R is the rate at which it decays and T is the amount of elapsed time. And I can see here that for question A, we're asked to write the formula Y equals blank E to the blank T. So we'll need to know the initial value which we have, but we'll also need the rate. And that's something that we're going to need to calculate. And to do so, I can use the fact that the half-life is 22 hours. Substituting into our formula, the half-life means that the final amount, A, will be one half of what we started with, A sub zero. On the right-hand side, we also have A sub zero, E to the R, which we don't know, but times T which is 22. From here, we can simplify by dividing both sides by a zero. This completely removes that from our equation. And we now have one half on the left-hand side equals e to the r times 22 or 22 r. And from here, I need to solve for r. And since it's in the exponent, I can move it down out of the exponent by taking the log of both sides. And since I have a base E, I'll take the natural log of both sides. This gives me the natural log of one half on the left and simplifies to just 22 R on the right hand side. And from here I can solve for R and we see that R equals the natural log of one half over 22. So we now have everything to answer question A that formula will be y equals the initial value, 733.6 times e raised to the r, which we now know is the ln of 1 half over 22 times t. And from here we can move on to question b, which asks, now that we know the equation, how much will be present after 7 hours? So we're going to substitute in seven hours into that formula and get y equals 733.6 e to the ln of one half over 22 times seven. And to do this sort of calculation without any intermediate computations, I like to use Desmos. And we're told here to round to the nearest tenth. So looking at the tenth position, we have 0.4 with a zero behind it. So our amount in part B would be 588.4 milligrams.